Hello and welcome to the Game Dev Outpost. In this video, we'll be talking about visual shaders and ambient occlusion in Godot 3. Ambient occlusion is also known as AO. Ambient occlusion affects how lights cast shadows on your object. By default, AO is usually set to 1. The lower you go from 1 to 0, it gets darker. And if you go to 1 or above, it's going to get lighter. Additionally, there is an AO light effect and its default value is zero. If you start to crank this up, this is going to change how the light affects the surface overall. And as you go up from zero, it's gonna get darker. Now in the case of textures, this is also just data, like metallic and roughness. So it's recommended that you channel pack this with other data textures. In this case, I have the ambient inclusion in the red channel. And like all data types, you wanna make sure that this is imported with sRGB disabled. And then your texture node also wants to have a data type of data. All right, guys, this should cover visual shaders and ambient occlusion in Godot 3. If you thought this video was useful and it helped, please let me know by commenting down below and liking the video. Thanks, guys.